guys, my name is Stefania, welcome to my channel. So today is this for a VIB sale, so I went out and bought the new Huda Beauty Nude Palette. I want to do a first impressions with you guys, test it out, see if it's any good. It's still pretty expensive, even with the sale. We will talk about price and all those things later. I also do swatches at the end of the video, but I feel weird without my eyes on, so we are going to mess with this on the eyes first. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are interested to see how this palette works, what I think, all the good stuff, then keep watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, it means the world to me. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so you get a concealer. I know a lot of people have already seen this palette. I will show you before I start digging into it because it is aesthetically gorgeous. Like, it's so pretty. It's such a pretty palette. So I'm gonna try to use not a lot of the pink shades um, just to kind of see if we can get more looks and you know, I don't want to do the same thing over and over and over again because I have seen a few, quite a few tutorials already with this palette. We're going to go into the concealer shade. I already primed this eye with Tarte Shape Tape and then I have not primed this eye. So we're going to see if the base is a good base or if it's just kind of like meh. So we're going to take that concealer shade first. You do get a very nice mirror in here as well. This is apparently the protector rather than like a piece of plastic, which I guess is totally fine. Am I going to keep it in there? Probably not, but I figured I'd let you know. Um, all right, I'm going to try patting it in with my finger. So the concealer shade is definitely a very, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but like my Tarte Shape Tape like really does cover every single like veinage. <laughs> I guess if that's what you want to call it. Um, not awful, but definitely not what you would, like here's a swatch of it. And like say I wanted to rub it out. Like you can't see that. Tarte Shape Tape is, is I like to use concealer as a base. Uh, we will use it in the type of like cut creased type of way because I guess that's really what it's there for. But I wouldn't say it's probably a good primer, but if you're looking for a primer, it's going to like block out, you know. All of your imperfections then uh these not the one for you so we are going to start with the shade play which is that nude shade right there and blend it out so this looks like a peachy shade i was saying i'm trying not to do a pink look because although i think this palette is gorgeous i am a little bit concerned with how many different looks you can get out of this. It's really not the biggest variety of shades. It's a lot of pink. Like I think if she could go back in time, Huda would probably be like, this should have been my rose gold palette. You know what I mean? Because nude, I don't think it necessarily fits that description. I think it's a very, it's almost like a modern Renaissance phase two, or like it could be like the romance palette or something, you know? But I don't think it's so nude, but I like that. I'm fine. I have a wide variety of browns. I don't think I need more, which you guys know is a lie as I say that because I would get more. So we're going to go ahead and deepen up that crease shade. So we're actually going to go in with raw. I changed my mind. I was going to use this shade, but this does feel like it's going to be more of a pink tone. Let me swatch it. Yeah, you definitely get more of a pink tone with that one. It's like a mauve shade. So let's try raw and see if it comes off as... It looks kind of brown in the palette, but I don't think it's going to come off brown. So, we shall see. We shall see. Yeah, so, you guys can see it's definitely not... I'm okay with it. I'm not, like, complaining or anything like that, but the way they look in the pan and the way that they, it comes off on the eyes, it's definitely a variety of pinks and mauves and purples. Um, I, I kind of wish there was at least, ooh, show. I took that up high. Whoops. That's okay though. This is a really pretty shade though, and it's blending out super well, even though I did have that little, little, don't mention density. So, it's still looking good though. I still feel like it's pretty light right now. So, I am going to... 
I'm gonna have to deep into dip deep into. I'm gonna dip into probably this shade here, which is Love Bite, because unfortunately, like, there's not the best dark tones in this palette. Let's actually go in with Tease. I haven't seen anyone use Tease yet. I feel like a lot of people are are going for Love Bite and Spanked right now, so maybe that will help us a little or help you guys a little bit more. Um. But yeah, there's not a lot of darker tones. I wish there was a deep brown. Just, I know I just said I have a lot of browns, but I think it would complement the palette really well. Especially for the outer corner, if you're someone who likes to do an outer corner type look. So, everything though is blending out super well, super nicely. Man, my eyebrows have like gone to a whole new level of crazy where I'm just like, am I at the age where it's like, I feel like I'm growing man eyebrows. Like they're, they're getting everywhere lately. I think that's also though, cause I ran out of my brow pencil. So I'm using powder and uh, apparently this not strong enough. Okay. So I'm liking this. All right. Next I'm going to take that concealer shade and just put it over the front half of my eye and then we'll go over with one of the shimmers i'm super excited for the shimmers but i'm not gonna lie this for a vib i usually pick up so much eye stuff and there really wasn't that much eye stuff that i was eyeing of course the pat mcgrath palette has been sold out for a few weeks now like the big one that i keep talking about so other than that it wasn't like i there were any other palettes that i wanted to pick up was there any palettes you guys wanted to pick up? I know like Kevin Aquan had the nude pop, but... So this works. It's not going to be as much of a punch if you were to use Tarte Shape Tape, which I will do on this eye. I'm going to do this eye off camera, that way I don't keep you guys here all day. But I'll do it and then we can see if it makes a difference. It's still a nice base. It's not hard to work with or anything like that, but it's just not a full coverage type base. So I don't know if the eyeshadows are going to pop as much as if you were to use a concealer. So I'm going to take the shade Crave because I just really want to use it. I'm going to go in with my finger. That is one thing with Huda. I feel like any metallics really, most of them always look better with the finger rather than a brush. It's just how it is. Um... I don't necessarily mind that. My fingers are really fat though, so getting it in there and trying not to get it all over the lid is, uh, is the problem. But, oh, that's pretty. All right, so we are gonna try it with a brush. This is almost one of those palettes that you don't wanna dig into because you're like, it's so pretty that you're just like, why would I ruin this? So with Fix Plus, it does build up a little bit more intense for sure. That's a really pretty champagne gold type of color. So I'm going to do this eye and then we'll do the lower lash line together. Okay, I'm back. I just did a little bit of liner and mascara. So this is the shade, the shade. This is the shade side with Tarte Shape Tape and this is using the concealer in the palette. Really close up, I feel like this side is a little bit brighter. Let me know if I'm crazy or what you guys think. I don't think it's like a huge difference or anything like that, but I did just kind of want to show you guys for those that are wondering. Um, I'm going to use fine wine in the waterline. I feel like this look needs a little extra something. The only thing with this is sometimes fine wine makes my eyes look more red when they're already red. So just fair warning, it will happen. But I feel like it would look nice in this look. Yeah, I like the way that looks. Okay. All right, just gonna take that halfway in. Woo! Okay, let's see. Let's go in with, I'll try to use a different shade. We're gonna use Tickle underneath. So that center shade, my whole theory on trying not to use pinks and purples kind of went out the mirror, out the mirror, out the window, uh, just because you really can't not use pinks and purples so we will use tico 
As far as fallout goes, there was very minimal fallout. Okay. That's gonna be too pink. Mm. I'm gonna go back in with raw. And then we might do a little glitter on top just to just to use another glitter. The glitter shades, I don't even know if they're the glitter shades. The with the cool looking speckled ones. I'll read that in the back in a minute. I know like she's got certain names for every every eyeshadow, but those are definitely the most exciting. As far as like the other ones, I'm a little bit like, I don't know about these. Um, Excite and Infatuated are those pressed glitters. I don't know how I feel about pressed glitters in the palette. To be honest, her other one comes with it and I think I've used it one time. So, just my opinion. Let me know if you guys will actually use those. I've just realized that glitters and I and adhesives and all that stuff just, it's a lot of work and a lot of a mess that I don't feel like doing. So, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit more with Play, which was that cream shade we used to start with. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Fantasy, which is the shade here. And just kind of pop that through the inner corner and lower lash line. pretty good there too. Didn't add too much as far as this way, but it would be a super pretty like all over the lid shade. And then lastly, what I want to do is some highlight. I'm going to try Crave as a highlight. So I don't have any highlight on right now. And let's see if that, that's what I mean. It's not chunky on the face or once it's blended out. All right, I'm gonna zoom you out and then we are gonna talk about some of the shades. Okay, I've now filmed this outro like five times because cars keep passing by and motorcycles and uh, you know, no one cares that I'm filming, okay? So <laughs> these are some swatches of the four special shades and then two of the glitters of the palette. The glitters are pretty similar. You obviously get a darker and then a lighter shade. Glitters and palettes just drive me crazy. She did that in the Desert Desk one too. And like I said, I've maybe used it one time and that's it just because it's just you know they're just a messy product i love glitter but just not i don't want to do it so i kind of wish she would start changing those out because i do feel like a lot of people always say the same thing that they don't use them so i wish she would just stop putting them in there um but the four special shades they are gorgeous they don't appear chunky when you swatch them like they kind of do in the palette so those are very pretty my one thing about this palette is I, I, everything blended out great. There's no problems with any of the blendability, nothing like that. Everything blended. It's just that feeling of this is a very pink purple palette. Makes me feel very girly, which I like. But I don't think it's necessarily something that's very unique in terms of if you are a hoarder makeup person like me. Um, I feel like I'm always in the minority with these stuff. It's like palettes that everyone loves. I'm a little bit like, I don't know. Um, and then palettes that I love, everyone's like, Bleh. So let me know what you guys think. I, I mean, application's great. If you are someone that's new to makeup or loves pink and purple, then you will love this palette. I just felt like I needed a different shade for my outer V or just, you know what I mean? Just a few different shades so that I could change up different looks. I feel like no matter what look I'm going to do with this palette, it is going to be very similar no matter which shades you pick. So that is my only gripe about it. It was still 52 bucks, I believe, on the VIB sale, 65 normally. Um, if I was going to recommend between this and the Desert Dust palette, I would far more recommend the Desert Dust. There's just Desert Dust, the Desert Dusk. There's just a lot more variety in this palette and I do really love it and you only have one of those shimmer shades. However, you don't get the special shades that she just formulated in the other one. So kind of up to you, but I feel like I reach for this a lot and I don't know if I'm gonna reach for this one that much. Like the colors are really pretty, but I don't wanna do pink and purple every day, you know? So I might be a little, 
you know, maybe I'm being a little, little, a little harsh. I don't know. Product wise, it's great. It's fantastic. Just, you know, am, do I need to keep it? No. Is it anything that I feel like is super unique? No. Is the application beautiful? Yes. As far as I was going to bring up, I do have quite a few nude palettes. I would say something similar would be like the Nabla Dreamy palette. I absolutely love this palette and you can kind of see a lot of the tones are similar in this, but you get some different shades that could kind of change your look. So you have a lot of pinks and purples in this. Here, I'll go a little bit closer. But because you have that darker brown and that darker red shade and a brown crease shade, which we're never happy, right? Because it's always like, who needs all these browns or who needs all these this? But I feel like I can't really change up my look too much just with this palette on its own. I would need to grab something else and then probably just use those shades on the lid that I felt like were super unique to that palette. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys liked this video. Like I said, I'm not mad at it or anything like that. It's a gorgeous palette. It's like aesthetically, it's, it's a gorgeous freaking palette to look at and to stare at. And you don't even want to touch it because you're just like, I don't want to ruin it, you know? So... I have no complaints about it. It's just more of, you know, I wish it was a little little different than I thought. I thought some of those mattes were going to go on a little differently in terms of shades. I thought there was going to be more of a variety, whereas it's really just a lot of mobs. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is it for me. I'm going to stop chattering. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Let me know if you have any questions about the palette. As far as the concealer and the shade goes, this was my Tarte Shape Tape Eye. This is my Huda Beauty Eye. My worry is that the concealer shade is going to get really dirty over time and then it's not going to be a concealer shade because it is that creamy formula. It worked. It wasn't, I didn't feel like it was amazing. Is there a huge difference like probably from where you're sitting as in terms of like which eye looks better? You probably won't know. Close up, this eye is brighter for sure and that's just fine. I think especially for a beginner, I think that's great. Or if you're traveling you just don't feel like doing a whole cut crease, I still think you'll get use out of it. But my worry is just over time, I don't know how that's going to hold up. So that is it, guys. Now that's it. I'll shut up. Have a great weekend. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. I have a Sephora haul coming soon. So have a great weekend. Bye, guys.